Up, oh, getting blocked in. Getting blocked in. Getting blocked in. They're getting a lot of traffic. Bad choice. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. oh. Getting a little tight there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, definitely. It, it, Definitely backed up up here, and you know, and it's actually just going to get thicker. I'm looking where they are right now. Looks like, looks like we're going to take another off ramp, or oh, we're not. There we go. We're staying on the 210. Not, you know, not a good choice for all the other folks out there because it really does get backed up. It gets very tight, especially as you come around that curve up here. Uh, you know, and you can see that vehicle making those uh, dramatic moves, those big moves down there. And California Highway Patrol, they're not going to let this thing go. The only thing that could maybe happen, and we've seen it in the past, this uh, vehicle might jam itself up, you know, basically get stuck somewhere. See California Highway Patrol making that uh, command presence right there in their rearview mirror, more officers right there. But again, how do you bring it to a stop? You can't, you can't physically block it in. But, uh, you know, right now it's just kind of follow, alert the public, stay with it, and then hopefully there'll, there'll be an opportunity where they can you know, do the pit maneuver or perhaps put out those spike strips. The spike strips, like uh, Dennis was saying just a moment ago, they're difficult. You can't predict where that car is going to go. And with heavy traffic like that, you're not going to be able to deploy it with all these other vehicles. Oh, right there. Yep. Yep. I, I would say probably closer to 30, 30 minutes, if that. Right. Coming back to Zuzo. Oh, definitely. And, and, you know, in law enforcement, that you know, that's one of the things we've seen so many times in the pursuits in the past. The vehicles will give up before the, the driver does. Uh, you know, they'll have some sort of mechanical issue, run out of gas, uh, whatever it may be, hit a curb, you know, because they're driving too quickly, take out their own tires. Uh, we've seen a lot of those happen in the past. Right now, I can tell you, we're back in westbound 210, getting back into the Azusa area, and traffic isn't going to get any better. Uh, you know, he's doing, uh, we're assuming that's a mailbox behind the wheel there. The suspect doing a lot of weaving in and out of traffic there. California Highway Patrol, they have the benefit of the lights and sirens. A lot of the folks, they will do what they need to do, move out of the way. So law enforcement, they aren't catching up as it would be. They're keeping up for this situation right now. Other law enforcement, maybe even law enforcement in the area, maybe even Azusa PD, knowing this is happening, will be in the area or make themselves conveniently available if this vehicle gets off the freeway. Right now, riding that emergency lane, that could be a big plus. Maybe that vehicle will pick up some debris, get a flat tire. That might help bring this to an end. But these high turns, whoa, look at that, look at that, look at that, there, oh. Oh, and California Highway Patrol right there, but this driver still continues to drive. Now that other vehicle, that pickup truck, hopefully they're going to be okay. Yeah, the, hopefully that other vehicle is going to be, uh, driver is going to be okay. And this driver now, you know, this is the thing. You, you just were in an accident. Why push it? You know, it, 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 this could have ended so much worse, and then this vehicle continuing to drive. And this just makes you think again. It's like Dennis was saying. We don't know what this person's wanted for. Why is this person so desperate to stay away from law enforcement? Right now, one person's day probably ruined. I would hope they're going to be okay. Basically bumped into the back of that pickup truck. But look at the damage to the car. Yeah, no, Michaela, you brought it up. Uh, it, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. It, it, it Oh, definitely, definitely. But we're not seeing any steam, so it looks like the radiator's still intact. Uh, looks like this could be it right here. It looks like we're going to be exiting the freeway. I'll get you an off-ramp right here. Uh, but it, this is the thing, and we're going to be in the Azusa Avenue. It looks like we're going to stay. Are we getting off the freeway or no, we're not? I'm sorry. Uh, it, I thought it was an off-ramp. Yeah. 
Yeah, the emergency lane right there. So, again, just kind of moving along. Uh, the California Highway Patrol, you saw that officer hoping this would have come to an end. Uh, and I would almost think was going to do some sort of intervention, but just because of the other vehicles, it might have just spun out and hit another car. That's definitely what they don't want. You know, now you got a motorcycle rider right there. I, oh, it is a California Highway Patrol. Thank goodness. I was. I just thought maybe it was just a, a random uh, person. But so now you have a, a motorcycle. This uh, motorcycle clearly is not going to be able to do a pit maneuver, but definitely is going to be able to keep up with that vehicle, especially in this tight traffic situation. Uh, again, you have to wonder, right, Michaela? You know, uh, supervisors watching this, they're probably thinking to themselves. You know, should we call it? But now this vehicle, you know, clearly was involved in an accident as well. So I don't want to talk to this driver, that's for sure. Boy, a, a good scanner would be so awesome right now. Yeah, no, the scanner would be great right now. Looks like we're getting off. Are we getting off? Are we getting off the freeway? Oh, no, we're doing the 605. We're doing the 605. Back to the 605. No, 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 we're, we're still moving along. It's just getting a little bit of traffic. All right. Sweet.
What do we got for fuel? We have 40 minutes, 40 minutes. Southbound 605, Michaela. Southbound 605. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Michaela. No, we are southbound 605. When you were ta talking earlier, I thought, I, I'm sorry. There's so much going on out here. I thought, I thought you knew. It was southbound 605 freeway. Uh, that vehicle continuing to move along right there. I, basically, really just backtracking, going back to where the, you know, because we were northbound on the 605, now we're southbound. I really wonder if he's going to take the 10 or the 605. Uh, you were asking about that front bumper. Dennis was making a comment as well. In this case, it doesn't look like it's actually making contact with any of the wheels or anything. Looks like, here we go, this time... I don't want to say it because it's been, we've been we've been so close so many times. Looks like we are definitely getting off the freeway this time. So is this going to be an opportunity for the California Highway Patrol, possibly, if there is no other traffic around there, to do that pit maneuver and look at all that other traffic. So they aren't going to be able to do that, making another big sweeping turn. I don't know. You know, last time it was on the freeway. I mean, off the freeway, on the freeway. Let's see where this car goes now. Lower Azusa Road, that's where we are. But uh, again... You know, slowing down. Look at the speeds right there. Maybe, maybe that vehicle is giving some sort of indication that it's not going to be going anymore. Uh, California Highway Patrol right behind it. If if it looks like that car is just going to come to a stop, they are not going to pit it because they. What would be the point? So right now, it looks as if though maybe that vehicle is giving up before that driver. We've seen that so many times in the past. But uh, much slower movement, much less uh, uh, traffic out here. And uh, again, this is Lower Azusa Road, and I don't think we're technically in Azusa anymore. I believe this is going to be more Baldwin Park. throwing more stuff out the car. Yeah. You know. They believe it was a weapon. I, I mean, they, they, there's been some talk that it possibly may have been a weapon. They just don't know. Here we go. Hard turn. Hard turn. And uh, so... We were on Los Angeles, now we're on, on the center. And uh, it, much like you, Michaela, sometimes I, I'm a little bit turned around. I gotta figure out which way we're going, north or south. But definitely established in the, in the, in the Baldwin Park area. It seems like, you know, possibly this vehicle, you know, now we're getting very residential. It almost seems like this vehicle is driving to a destination. Don't know if it's going to be family that just might be there or possibly this person thinks, oh, I can jump out and make a run for it because I know that neighborhood. We've seen that so many times in the past as well. Uh, California Highway Patrol, their presence, very, very close by. And it looks like that driver, you know, Justin's doing a great shot, uh, is kind of digging around in that center council. And, you know, this is the thing, uh, you know, law enforcement, that's, they don't want to see that, uh, especially, you know, when a vehicle's coming to a stop, making a turn into a very residential neighborhood. Again, uh, it, we're staying in the uh, Baldwin Park area, but uh, law enforcement in the air and on the ground, they're just keeping an eye on it. They're going to see where this vehicle comes to a stop, Michaela.
Yep. Don't, and, and it seems like, uh, Michaela, I was actually looking at some of the comments on, on, on our digital media. It actually looks like this person is just making blocks. I, I, did I miss something there? Because it, I, if they make another really hard turn here, I watched, the, I watched that vehicle make a hard, uh, would have been a left turn just a moment ago. It looks like they're just kind of driving in the same street, but now the street names are changing. I'm going to find it on, on my moving map so we can keep a lot, keep a, keep Hornbrook, yeah. So basically, just lo it looks like there you go, coming to a stop. Uh, Justin, just get a little bit wider. See if there's any people. Yeah, it looks like that car basically gave up before that driver did. Uh, so this looks like hopefully, hopefully this is going to go textbook. Hopefully that driver is just going to get out of that vehicle. Uh, uh, clearly, all the law enforcement, you know, they're going to be concerned about their safety, not about us being here but uh, keeping an eye on what's going on. Hands are out of the vehicle, but we haven't seen the keys come out and uh, that vehicle just stopped. So perhaps, you know, that driver might think, hey, I got one more shot at this. Right now though, looks like it is coming to an end, Michaela. This is what we want to see. Doors are open, hands are out, and uh, that vehicle has come to a complete stop. So uh, let's, uh, let's see and watch and hopefully that uh, this suspect just goes into custody and without any type of other incident, but clearly, clearly following the rules and uh, making the moves that the uh, that law enforcement wants to see and uh, maybe even perhaps this uh, person has done this before and it's cars not parked yeah so yep up oh, oh the curb saved it there you go yeah a little little good karma there yeah Little good karma. You can see the uh, the uh, law enforcement making an approach. Uh, you, you can. Cl we've seen this so many times in the past. Uh, there, there's that motorcycle officer that uh, Dennis and everybody was watching, and uh, and I was actually seeing a lot of props for that uh, officer on on the digital media. They were saying what a amazing rider that uh, guy was. He's going to make sure that there's nobody in the car now. That partner is helping as well, but we're pretty sure there isn't that suspect going into custody. I really would like to know what this was all about. Perhaps there was more than just expired tags, but right now, coming to an end out here, San Gabriel Valley uh, and uh, off of Hornbrook, and one suspect in custody.